Hey guys, Tay Beefs here for the little Infernal Shrines, and I'm gonna try my first uh, broadcasting slash announcing of a game here for the first time. Um, and I'm all pumped. And I'm ready to talk. So hopefully, hopefully this goes well. Uh, like I said, Infernal Shrines. This is a uh, a high rank game. Most players in this game, I'm pretty sure, are rank one and two, um, maybe three and four. I don't know. Unfortunately, it does not display uh, on the replay screen here. But like I said, this is my first time doing this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you guys want to submit replays to me, I would freaking love that. Um, if you got any any really fun games or anything crazy that happened, uh, send it my way. Um, and just shoot me a message on YouTube or in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll send you my email and you can send it in. Uh, but we got Tychus, Illidan, Morales, Gazlo, Johanna, Sonia, Diablo, Rainer, Kael'thas, and Lili up here. I'm really liking the uh, red team's uh, composition. We'll see how this goes. The blue team, um, unfortunately, has an Illidan, and I've watched this game already, so we'll, uh, there's some silly things that happen there with Illidan. Um, but Illidan is actually one of the most losingest heroes according to Hot Logs. If you do not know what Hot Logs, Hog, Hot Logs is, go to www.hotslogs.com and read up on your favorite heroes, look for builds, look for builds for certain maps. Um, it's really an amazing tool, and you guys should check it out. But like I said, uh, high rank team here, everyone is playing it pretty safe, hiding out in their hidey holes, uh, what have you, hiding out behind their fences. We got a Morales and Illidan mid, we got Gazlo against Diablo and Sonya up top, and we've got Johanna and Tychus versus Lili and Raynor bot. So we got Sonya, kind of poking out, going on Gazlo. Um, she would have waited another second, let Diablo go out first, tried to pull out the body slam. That's okay, he's going to shoot his death cannon, uh, hit, poke Diablo there. Uh, they're just going to be soaking up creeps. Um, playing a pretty safe mid, nothing really crazy. Illidan is switching up top to uh, help out Gazlo. Grab an orb, nothing really happens there. Um, and let's look at their talents here. Why haven't I brought that up? Ooh, how do I do that? There we go. We got Raiden, Seeners, Seas, and Marksman. He's definitely going to be dishing out the damage this game. Sonya and Gazelle are still up top. Um, they're poking at Illidan here, but unfortunately with that Morales healing, they're not going to be able to accomplish anything. Uh, Lili and Rainer kind of getting pushed back into their fort. Johanna is about 50% health, so Rainer is definitely poking at her. Uh, we got another fight here. KT was able to bomb Illidan a couple times there. The Alter is now activating or trying what have you. Uh, really laying down the damage on Illidan, but with the Morales here, it's not going to be as much. Or well, can they pull it off? No, still too many heals. We got Johanna Bot, just kind of waiting uh, for someone to poke in. Lily pokes in just to see if uh, anyone's there. Takes a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy to save to get away. And so we've got Sonya up top trying to soak experience, I believe, and she's really missing out on the situation. She's going to make her way mid, and I think she's going to stop there. Um, whole team finding bot at the objective. Sonya, yes, soaking experience mid again. Um, they can really use her in the two fight. She's showing up really late. We got Elodin poking up pretty far. We got Diablo with the slam and the, uh, the charge in slam. Sonya coming in, uh, Sunny, uh, Kiwi. She's already up in the air. Um, she decides to take off. She's sick of this fight. They already have 25 guardians. Um, they really need her there. They're not going to win this. They're not going to be able to spend it much longer. Um, she decides to go soak well, thinking her team can uh, spend it well, but her team is already low, pretty low. Um, in the 405. Her team's not like that. That's cool. We're not going to pay attention to the team chat. Um, let's see. Yep, the blue team definitely gets the objective, and they're going to push. Uh, Sony trying to get the Sony experience. Ex Bonus experience by soaking top is easily negated with Punisher pushing. Tychus can easily soak mid, and whoever can go soak top, um, since that Punisher is pushing. Top will have a little bit of resistance as Sonya is there, but Tychus is free to rain in all that experience. We got the Punisher, it is down, uh, not too much. He took one tower and the wall. Uh, Illid and Lily poking focusing on that last tower, and he was able to get it down. And Diablo is not looking so hot. Lili there, she's healing him up best she can. <laughs> We've got Illidan and Tychus pushing in mid. Are they gonna? They're gonna back off, not trying any buildings. Probably, probably a good decision. Uh, Gazlo still soaking up top. 
uh, with Sonya. And Illidan's coming in. They're going to try and dodge Sonya. And let's see if she can do enough damage and get her with the death laser. They don't do enough damage. She's able to get out there pretty easily. And we've got KT playing it safe in the mid still. Uh, something's happening in the chat. I don't know. Lily has got three people on her with her heels. She is able to escape. Pretty awesome. We've got Illidan diving on KT. KT finally pops out. But it was baiting the crap out of Illidan. They're able to body slam him and just take him out of the picture very easily. We've got Lily still trying to defend bot best she can. We got Diablo coming down to help her. Probably good. Red team actually ends up now currently with the experience advantage. Not very much. Um, but I think that Hill is Sonya getting the top mercs. Good call. They're going to get the bottom mercs here. And I believe it's going to be just in time for the objective. And the awesome thing about timing that correctly is when they go in on the objective, this whole team is there. They've got two mercenary camps pushing in their lanes. And that is always a good thing. So we've got the objective. We've got the shrine activated up top. Everyone is going to start going their way once they finish this merc camp here. Boom, there it is. We got Rainer up top, kind of poking around. Nothing too crazy. He doesn't want to commit to anything. He doesn't want to die. He's been blinded. He's been pulled back by Johanna, and that's fine. We got KT throwing in a bomb on Tyke, which is good. He's, he's a little bit one of the more suspicious heroes, um, so he just wants to poke at that. He has an opportunity. We've got Johanna going ham on everyone. And you can see how it turns out. We've got the Mercenary camp pushing in. This is good. We got Johanna with the pull again. <coughs> Sonya dives in on Tychus and comes out of there. They're really poking off Johanna and some Morales he running up. They're not going to be able to do much there. Good thing nobody has died yet though, except the Illidan. He goes in and he just got destroyed by the Diablo, I believe. Um, unfortunately, Illidan, on um, this type of situation, the 5 and 5 type, Illidan really out of position if he dives into anything. And he just gets nuked. He gets control all deleted from the game. And he's... They're going to go up here. They're going to start the objective. They know Morales is all out of mana, so she has to back. Um, she just harked back. I don't know if they saw her harking. She might not know how much time they have. Uh, but they are definitely cleaning up these guardians. We got Gazzo a little bit out of position. Kind of made the same thing while Johanna went in. Um, that's not really working out for him. He's still poking in and out, throwing down those... Uh, Courage. Uh, he was stunned, but Morales is back able to heal him up and pull him over, and he's still going to survive. Too many heals from Morales. Fight the dog. We've got two of the red team here still poking out the Guardians, taking them out. Uh, Illidan goes in on Sonya, but with the Rainer there, they're easily able to take him out. Alright, Diablo is quite in pain there, but they are trying to get as many guardians as they can. We've got Gazlo. Gazlo also on the Guardians. Oh man, so many things happening. Crazy team fight. Let's see what's going on. They're really poking on Johanna. Diablo says that's that. We're not going to care. She's body slams Pegasus and Apollo from his team. Luckily, they are able to take out Johanna, believe it or not. Kind of insane. Morales is almost there. Tychus goes down. Illidan really focuses on the Lily. Diablo takes him back, charges him, pulls him. Lily with the team heal. The Punisher is up. And Illidan is just kind of body blocked like crazy. And Punisher jumps on Morales. Hopefully, this is a good situation. They're not able to pull up or follow up. The wall is still up. Otherwise, they probably would have been an easy kill on Morales. However, the red team is level 10, so they are pushing with that battle cruiser. And all kinds of good stuff. So red up top right now, it is 4v5. The blue team can't really contest this push, especially since they have the Punisher. They got Tychus mid. He is so good experienced. He knows there's nothing to do. Uh, red team is going to capitalize on getting that enemy team's mercenary camp. Getting the enemy team's mercenary camp is always a good thing to do. That way, when you have to be, they have a and you still have yours. So you're be waiting for you at home where you can get the first day. We got Morales done, we got Illidan actually pulling his up off on the three of the red team. Um, so he gets quite a hell of a from that. He still goes down pretty easily. Um, we got Tychus with his ult, so he's way out of position. Uh, she's really going to hang on Morales, not quite enough to escape. 
uh, take us really focus on the red team there. Lee with her ult, it is almost just enough. Rainer goes down. Tychus is still going ham, trying to take them out. Lili and Diablo running for their lives. Nothing helping in any of the other lanes. Really focus on Lili with self heals. Diablo really saved Lili there with the charge, pushing Tychus off for her, and they are able to escape. <clears throat> the extra DPS from Tychus on Lili definitely would have taken her out. Um, so Diablo really pulled off to save that. Tychus thinking about going on this mercenary camp decides not to play it safe and he's going to go mid, I believe. We got Gazlo so good on top. Oh, no, he is harsing. He is all out of mana. We've got Lili going bot to defend this tower. And we've got KT and Diablo mid. Sonia top. Swinging back and forth. Not sure quite what she wants to do yet. We've got the blue team taking the mercenary camps here with Illidan and Morales. They are able to pull Johanna out. They got four on the team there. Lili's still defending bot. And the objective is back to pop. They want to finish up those mercenary camps before that objective starts. So again, they can push those lanes out um, if everyone's fighting men. Illidan knows Lili is by herself, so he is going to try and capitalize on, capitalize on that. However, Lili's got almost two creep waves with her, and she's able to blind Illidan. Illidan with his trait, one of the best traits in the game, but you have to hit your target or you will not get your heals, and you will not get your increased attack speed. And he decides to beat, he decides to ult. He misses the ult, which does not give him any bonus at all, except the 20% increased attack speed, and he goes down pretty easily. And yeah, Lili with the win on that fight. <laughs> the objective here. Lili's kind of LOL. And I uh, can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening either. Uh, but with that blind, yeah, it really puts Lili in a significant disadvantage. We got the two fight here. They are men able to take out Sunny. Diablo with the ult. Unfortunately, did not take anyone. Lili's got her ult up. Uh, it's not enough to see Diablo, but it does definitely heal up KT quite a bit. <clears throat> We got Tychus down. Diablo getting mad over the poking at Johanna, which they definitely were doing, and it's really hard to take her out of the fight, especially with the Morales. But they're back and they're killing these Guardians. Um, we've also got the Merce Camp pushing top. We got Rainer about a health health. Um, what did they call it? Only Revolution Overdrive. That's what it's called. Would it never be? But we've got five in clear control of the Guardian Shield and they're aiming that up. Got Illidan trying to take out that creep wave as best he can. We've got the whole team pushed mid with the Punisher. This is not going to end well with the Punisher leaps in, stuns the hand. Illidan poking at the Punisher. Probably still tall, he almost gets hit by a team. And Morales pulled out of position, taking down very quickly. Punisher just got Illidan, Illidan is down. Their red team is going to finish their support. Good time. Uh, we've got Titus, <laughs> we've got Gazlo trying to take down that Punisher. And they are able to. But we got Raynor with his ult up. He really wants to take up his wall. And he's got it, but he's going to pull that out. Titus pops his ult to chase him off. Working, they decide they need to get B, they need to get out of there, especially with the Johanna. They able to peel them off. Uh, we got Sonya taking the top mercy again. And we got Tychus and Gazlo trying to flank them. Gazlo just pulled into the team fight, but he is destroyed. Tychus starts holding away, Diablo gets the ult, Sonya gets the leap. And they are able to take him out of the fight very quickly as well. Illidan trying to get the creep out of there. Diablo with a charge on Morales in this land, able to keep his ult her out. Uh, Illidan's able to hold on almost the whole team, but he gets shrank and killed very quickly. Really with the shrink land. They're going to be able to pretty easily, I believe, but they almost need to have a solution. They're almost back up. Uh, but they've got this top. Merc coming in. Clean up top, and nobody's going to defend that yet. I believe Tychus is. Tychus is going to defend top, but that just gives them the opportunity to take more Merc camps, which they will do. Woo! 
15. Uh, Red Team almost has three level advantage on them. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for them to come back if they can. Especially with them taking these smart camps and the shrine activated. Let's see here. Alright, we got that smart camp under control. We got Sony taking the smart camp over here. Their entire team defending mid. And I believe they're going to go on the objective. Let's see how they handle this. We got Sony up top. Illidan dives in on the mercenaries. Sony is able to get away pretty easily since the fort and wall are still up. Blue team playing it defensively, hiding back. Go ahead and goes in. Go ahead and pull some of that team over here. And they're taking it. She's taking all the damage. Healing <laughs> Pearl, Raider with Result, Yabba with Result. Everyone's done. Almost done. Even more than that. She's not killed to lose the Yabba charge. And the red team is cleaning up. They're gonna get this objective. And they could end the game here. We got the mercenary camp pushing bot. Um, that fort still got a significant amount of help. Tychus DCs! And it looks like he is a AI, but uh, let's see, Ringer and Lily are gonna push this bottom four bottom fort while the red team cleans up the garden. Good call, they're gonna be able to push that down. Punisher is gonna be able to push them further. And Tychus Heart and Tychus is still just Tychus. AI probably not going to do well for the blue team. I believe that really shouldn't be an issue at this high level of gameplay. Uh, people disconnecting in a game like this could just easily throw the game. Uh, blue team's already at a significant disadvantage. Uh, Punisher jumps on Tychus. He's uh, he's taking out very quickly. That's what you expect to say. Uh, they're all laughing at him. Red Team Punisher easily able to take down those towers in the back. Punisher finishing. He's finishing out the Punisher. Um, another Arcane. Uh, they get the stuns. Oh god, the stuns. Old Team is from there, but it does not matter. They are all up. In the end. Punisher on. Illidan. Illidan down. Seems like. That is going to be a quarter of it, and they also hit 20, if for some reason they're going to be So yeah, that was me uh, trying to announce the game. Pretty good. Like I said, I'm your average player. Um, this will be more... I'm going to try and gear it more towards beginners. Um, trying to talk, talking about the Illidan, Illidan trait and hot slogs. Can't stress that enough. Uh, I don't know who introduced it to me. Uh, I think it was the friend who submitted this replay for me. Um, he submitted it strictly for the Lili vs. Illidan fight that happened on the bottom. Um, but I said to take it to the next level, announce the whole game. And I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. So yeah, thanks for watching.